Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing if you're into filmmaking, learning DaVinci Resolve, checking out cool gears and things of that nature. So in today's video, we're going to have a look at some very new, exciting things from our visuals. Um, if you have followed this channel for a while, you would know that I have reviewed one of the previous products from our visuals, which were the Camera Move Transition Pack, which were up here somewhere. Uh, so take a look at that. If, and if you are interested in that, there will be a discount code down in the description below, which will take you 15% of the price. So, but there is only 30 Cokes available. So if you want them, be very quick to pick them up. So the new packs from Irish visuals are going to be in a 10 individual packs and a bundle. So the price for the packs will be uh, 899 euros. And uh, I'll write here what that is in uh, dollars. So you can figure that out. There's going to be a mask smart pack a trail smart pack, text smart pack, split smart pack, light smart pack, a glitz smart pack, flip smart pack, spin smart pack, a shadow smart pack, and a liquid smart pack, or in a bundle where you get all of the smart packs. So let's have a look at the pack, how they look, how they work. And um, the thing about these packs is that smart packs will have no sounds, there will be no visuals. So because of that, you can drag that right into your power bin and use that in all your projects without having to import them as you do with the other packs. Pretty good. So let's have a look at how they work, what they can do and how to create some awesome stuff with them. Let's go. Okay, so let's just push shift one on our keyboard and uh, we'll open our menu here and then we're just going to right click and we're going to import a project. We'll find our project on our computer and we're going to open our project right here. And then let's just go into the project. And here we have the project files and here we have the smart transitions. Uh, so let's, uh, we have different frame rates. So let's just start with 24 frames here and uh, let's just take a random one uh, from the media pool and just drag it down to the timeline. And then of course now we can't see it, but uh, the way we, or the thing about this is that we can put this into our power bins. If you are, do not see your power bins in the site, you will go up here to the viewer up here in the top and then we're just going to go down here and show power bins so now you have your power bins and now you can take your transitions and drag into your power bin and as you see now it's in my power bin here like so and that means if i go to a another project i can use this power bin in all of my projects so let's just do that let's just go back to use this as an example. So there we are. And then we'll go to the power bins, go to the master, and I'm just going to drag down the transition here. So let's see, just place it here because it is just to drag it and place it. It is super simple and uh, there's nothing else to do than drag and uh, have a look at your transition. So let's have a look here. I'm just going to zoom in a bit so I can place it at the right place and the right place should be around the middle of the clip. So we can just have a look here. There we go. It is that simple. So let's have another look here. So let's, I'll just show you a little thing you can do as well with the, the transitions here. So I'll just go back to the products here. And then I'm just going to, again, take, I'll just delete the transition I just dragged in and uh, I'll go into the 24 frames. And here I have all of the transitions. So I'm just going to highlight the five transitions uh, with light. 
and I'm going to drag those into the power bin, into the master. I'll go to the master, and now I'm just going to right click and add a pin. And then I'm just going to create, let's say, light transitions. And now I have um, that here. And then I'm just going to drag all the transitions into the bin. Like so. And now it's easy to find the transitions. As you see here, I have all of the transitions. If I go out, I have done this with all of the transitions. Now I have all of the transitions and I've done this for uh, all the different frame rates, so you can actually choose the frame rate you want for your project. Here are a quick look of the transitions. They're all edited in the inspector, except the one with the text, which is coming up right now. The text was added inside of the Fusion tab, but it was pretty easy, and the transitions are working very well, and it's just straight forward. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on the channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.